Thanks to our friends at Monmouth Building Center, we're able to visit practice every week and hand out game balls for top efforts in boys and girls basketball. We hand out our last game balls of the season. When we asked Manasquan coach Lisa Kokoda who should get the game ball for the Lady Warriors state title win, it didn't take long to come up with an answer. Addie Masonis has been an unsung hero during her senior season, doing the little things that are so important to a championship team. In Manasquan's 68-43 win over University, Addie had five points, 11 rebounds, four assists, and two steals. A look at the film shows how valuable Addie is on the floor for Manasquan. Here, drawing two defenders and finding an open Carly Geisler for two. Then, on the next possession on the other end of the floor, two more defenders, and it's Masonis coming up with the rebound. Addie Masonis is given a verbal commitment to play Division I basketball in Staten Island for Wagner. But first, she's got one more year of playing basketball in Manasquan with the Lady Warriors. St. John Vianney Zoe Perro was an inside force in the Lady Lancers state championship game against Immaculate Heart. Perro delivered 12 points and five rebounds in SJV's 72-31 win to capture a second straight state crown. Perro is set to play Division I basketball this fall at St. Peter's in Jersey City. Vanessa Pino was a defensive specialist for St. John Vianney throughout her senior season. In the Tournament of Champions Finals, Pino shined once again on defense and stepped up on the offensive side, scoring 10 points to go along with two steals in the Lancers' double overtime win against Manasquan. She is one of six SJV players honored at the banquet, and for good reason. The Lady Lancers finished the year 31-1 and finished number eight in the USA Today Super 25 National Rankings. Shore Sports Zone thanks Monmouth Building Center for supporting athletes on the Jersey Shore all year long.